I'm here with Gray still slays. That's right, baby. That's my uh, that's my handle. Yeah! yeah. Suck Punch it, thumper. Like a, like a field goal. That's oh, what you get. Alive. What's up, Survivor Fanatics? This is KJ48. Cage 848, that's me. And I'm going to be playing some multiplayer with Gray still plays. Um, man, I almost said Gray's Anatomy. Hmm, that's interesting. Yes! <laughs> 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 anyway, um, yeah, so we're going to be playing some multiplayer here. We're going to be, uh, we decided to go for the furnace today because uh, it was either the furnace or the plant grow bed. And to be perfectly honest, our fruits and vegetables, you got a wolf over there smelling. Um, our fruits and vegetables were doing just fine. And uh, we think that the furnace is more important. So that's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to be uh, trying to get a furnace. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Oh, and don't forget, go look at, go look in the description because I'm going to have a link to Gray Still Plays' this channel. I forgot to mention that last video. <clears throat> well, I, I did too. That's why I put it like in the middle area. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done a collab in so long. It's crazy. We were talking how it's hard to do collabs with people on YouTube because like uh, everyone's got different schedules and stuff. You know, it's just like it's just not easy. Oh, I can't. I can't. Like I'm. I'm waiting for these chickens to get done. Once they get done, I'm gonna be so happy in life. Oh, they're only lightly done. The one Chicken. thing you never want is medium rare chicken. <laughs> Chicken's my favorite meat too. I love chicken. Okay, yeah, it's probably it's it's up there for me. I'm I'm a real traditional guy. Like down here, some people like uh, gator and stuff like that. Gator. <laughs> I've, never, I've never been a huge fan, but here we go. Oh, there it is. For the first time ever, the protein bar goes almost to halfway. Wow. I would call that one one third way. I feel so good right now. We're we're living in the lap of luxury today. Oh yeah, out here, in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I will say, like, every time I'm in this game, I feel like a sense of solace and, uh, I don't know, almost like, uh, like a relaxation. Oh, yeah? Up until the point where, I, like, I get attacked by a wolf and stuff like that. But right before the wolf attack, I feel really good. The nights are very, uh, relaxing. Um, although they're not going to be relaxing for us because we are going to be getting raided by hunters. Um, when I built, I built up on a big, big mountain and the hunters couldn't get their grenades up there. So I was basically invulnerable. And to be perfectly honest, it was kind of cheesy. I'm glad we're not doing it. Um, but yeah, when they're, throwing, when they're chucking grenades at us, man, like nighttime is supposed to be a relaxing time. And all of a sudden you get hunters coming in. And uh... <laughs> I can't. Actually, I'm really excited for that because back when I was messing around, the hunters never really like came to you. They would only just like sit over by their own little base and sadly kind of walk around. Every once in a while, I'd hear them chopping down some trees or I don't know. They're sitting by the fire doing something. They are supposed to uh, only attack once you've attacked them first or mess with them, but that's not true. I've been attacked by them before. And I didn't okay. do well, that. That was the other thing, too. Like, there's been so many. Uh, the one thing I love about this game is how the game continues to progress. Yeah, evolve. Like, and that's that's something that I think really i don't know it just kind of separates this game from a lot of a lot of other like one man indie survival title tiles they kind of like get somewhere they start and then they don't go anywhere i love how like things are continuously training changing and being updated yep and the uh developer i don't know i don't think i mentioned this in the first video the developer is a stand-up guy i right? i've been i've been making videos on this game for over a year i got it like six months before it was released to the public um and he's been so ridiculously you know he's got a full-time job and I think he's got a family of some kind, and he does this. He's 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 mentioned this as a quote unquote passion project, and um, he is he he update. If you ever worried about like you know early access games that you know abandoned wear or something, this is one thing you do not have to worry about with this game. Um, this guy's yeah. legit. Cold games legit. Yeah, when you when you've been systematically updating the game for more than a year, I consider you to be pretty pretty legit. Yes, <laughs> yes. Lock chest. It Oh, for real? Oh, and that's the other thing I'm so sad about. Oh, no, you're right next you, to it. <laughs> yeah, no, it's crazy. When you made your thing, we didn't get the second lock yep. pick. That is, that is freaking BS. Yep. I want that second lock pick because what does it take to make a lock pick? Isn't a lot. It, uh, it takes 18 iron. iron. Yeah, 18 yeah, iron say. just to start. <laughs> and then mass and uh, energy as yes, well, I know. Yes, yes. And some metal, oh, I, I think, pain. yeah. Pain in the ass. Right, it's kind of expensive. Here. But what you get out of it is legit, so... You know. Yeah, to be fair, those seeds that we got from that single lockbox are going to feed us, like, forever. Um, yeah, once we get them growing. It does take a while for stuff to grow, and you can't make the you can't make the light for the plant bed without sinew. So we're probably not going to be growing stuff at night, but that's okay. Um, water isn't really a big deal anymore. Uh, you don't even have to put fresh water in there. You can just fill it right from the canteen with dirty water. 
And um, oh, can you? Yeah, and all you have to worry about is Ash. Okay, good. All right. Well, I mean, that makes sense. I mean, yeah. it's gonna want the delicious sediment. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know. Yeah, I never even thought of it like that, but that's true. No, nah, it's true. I don't, I don't really know what the what the water is so plants, bad for. Over plants here. love dysentery. I think I read that somewhere. That's that's the bear gorillas coming out right there. Oh, that reminds me too. You said you wanted to ask me a question, but you were gonna wait to ask me it. Um. Okay, yeah, it's a good time. All right, so um, I stream, and a lot of people on stream ask me, uh, you know, questions and stuff, Q&A and everything. And one of the best questions I've ever gotten, I really love this question. I like to ask it of other YouTubers. Oh, God. If, if, you can, if you can choose one game that, when you make videos on it, would do really well on your channel no matter what. So basically, it's a game that you kind of wish you could play, but nobody would watch it, and you can wave a magic wand and have people watch it. What game would that be? Dragon Realms. Which Dragon Realms? I could tell you that right off the bat because uh, someone asked me a similar question one time. They said, Gray, what is your what is your favorite game of all time?" Um, and I was like, "I was like, do you, are, are you going to talk about like a year PC?" And they're like, "Nope." For, since the dawn of gaming on 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 any kind of gaming, not board games, what's your favorite one? It was Dragon Realms. And Dragon Realms. Oh, here we go. I'm going to date myself now. <laughs> is a text-based oh online role-playing game. Oh my god. Uh, one of the first um we're talking we're talking 14k modem <laughs> oh my god even i didn't uh, have a 14k modem but i loved that game because uh you were talking about survival and its infinity infancy uh, it be, yeah it, it in infinite oh infinity 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 is, is in, in infinity it is infinity it is in, yeah, it's ability to be infinite. And the thing about that game was that it was effectively infinite. You could you could play and you could gain, you know, renown and power and money and and do things in it and build stuff and you could do it as much as you wanted. Uh, and there there wasn't really like a cap. There was a cap, but it wasn't like games where you know in a month on World of Warcraft you're max level or now in like two days. You're yeah, max or you just level buy a max level. No one ever made max level. Um, and, you know, people had played it for years and years and never made... Now people have. But the game's also been around since, like, 91 or something like that. So, but that's, that's, what, I would, that's what I would pick. Because it's legitimately a game that if I wanted to, I could play forever. And nothing is ever the same. So, like, I would never have to worry about anything. Do you know what I mean? Like... <laughs> yeah, like learning stuff. Yeah, yeah. It would, it, well, uh, but the thing is, like, it would, it would, it would be fantastic because I would never know what's going to happen. You know what I mean? Okay. So I, I don't know how to put it. It's, it's just different. Like, I like online games and playing against people for that reason because there's the human element. Because human people do random crap. Uh, you, you don't play any more PvP games anymore, do you? No, well, that, well, and that's that's kind of the thing too is that I'm not good at it. That's no. the problem. You said wave a magic wad and get views. Yeah, I think a big thing about like PvPing and like stuff like that is you have to be like epic at it. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm, no, you're right, you're right. You have to be good. I, yeah, I'm very average. I very much play games because I enjoy them. Yeah. I do okay. You know I, what I mean? Like, I'm like that with some games too. Like, I I played a couple games here and there, and I wasn't bad at them, but I was I, exactly average. I was run of the mill, and um, right, that's right not good enough. Middle. That's not good enough. <laughs> Oh, oh. And I feel, I'm sure, uh, well, I actually, I, I don't go both ways. I'm sure there's some people that'd be like, oh, no, Gray, it would be fine. I'm going to tell you right now, if I put up a game that's competitive, you better look at the comment section because it's going to be like, what is this guy doing? Yep. Look at him. Comment he didn't section. Want to shot anyone. <laughs> comment section is irrelevant, but what'll happen is they'll, they'll you'll get all the nasty comments on the first couple videos, and then the views will drop off like a cliff. Basically, the people are saying he's not pro. I don't want to watch. So and real and realistically, like I say that, but I totally get it. Like no, yeah, it when sense. I, when I want to understand how to play like a, a very competitive game better, I watch people that are very good. Um, and that's that's like what I do. So it makes perfect sense and I don't I don't mind that. That's fine. It doesn't matter to me. But like yeah. So that that was my uh, so okay, so what would it be for you? It's a tough call for me cuz my um my favorite game kind of shifts, you know, from decade to decade, year to year, you know. Okay. Um Civilization 6 would be a good one for me, like right now. 
Okay. Um, uh, uh, Left 4 Dead 2. Um, EverQuest 2. If you want to talk MMOs. Oh, EverQuest 2. EverQuest 2 is simply, and I'm sorry, I don't mean to piss off any fanboys or anything. And I'm a fanboy of EverQuest 2, so I, I use that term with a uh, with affection. Um, but EverQuest 2 is quite simply the best MMO ever made, and I played them all. What? Yeah, it is. I mean, I'm not going to get into it because this, you know, we don't have 40 minutes. But um, yeah, just trust <laughs> me, it's the best. And and World of Warcraft was really good back in the day, but they really noobed the hell out of World of Warcraft, man. Like, well, and that and that's the thing too. Like when you get very very commercialized, you, and you have to fit a bigger crowd, and that's kind of like what happens. And I, and I get it. They, whatever. I guess they have staff to pay, and they have millions of dollars to make and everything like that but yeah when you try and reach the bigger audience and then the bigger audience and the bigger audience you find your stuff getting easier and easier because the bigger audience doesn't have the time that the smaller dedicated audience had yeah yeah it's like uh did you ever play diablo 2 i sure did did you ever play diablo 3 i sure did do you like the way they took all of the thinking out of it well yeah see and that's kind of the thing too is that like i don't know how i felt about it like sometimes i didn't Diablo 3 isn't a bad game. No, it's a fine game. To say. But uh, but yes, there there's there's a lot there's a lot less oh chicken. There's a lot less to the thinking. Actually, you put it really good the thinking. Yeah, like uh, like in Diablo 2, if you wanted to play, you would you would I I went on a rant on this the other day on one of my um, on one of my streams. Um the, in Diablo 2, if you wanted to make a, a character, you would decide the character, you decide the build, and then you would you would look for a build online. You know, I understand a lot of people don't want to do that, but I, I, I found it very fun. Um, you'd find the build online, and you would build it, and then you would, you know, do well. Or if you messed it up, in Diablo 2, you would just start a new character. It wasn't a big deal to level 60 in Diablo uh, Diablo 2. I mean, you could start off the game, uh, do Tristram runs till 13, then do Tomb runs after that till 24, um, have the Ancients done for you, which gets you an instant level, and then do Bale runs until you're 50, and then move to Nightmare. It was, it was cool, you know? And now Diablo 3, you know, it doesn't matter where you put your points. You got a character, it's your own character, it's a character forever, and you could just switch your points at will. Like, ugh. Switching points at will is a big no-no for me. Yeah, not being able not being able to feel the pangs of your foolishness. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't want I don't want anyone to be at, like you know, having a bad time or anything. I get that, but but there's if there's no consequences to your actions, then your actions mean nothing. So, oh. that's just, you know, yeah, no, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not getting quiet because of you. I'm getting quiet because I saw another chicken. Oh, get him. I, I told you. Anytime. Hold on. <laughs> any, anytime I have suddenly stopped talking, it's because I'm stalking a chicken. Where are you, you little jerk? You hid in the tall grass, didn't you? How the dare other he? problem is, is that I'm circling like a whole slew of wolves as yep. well. Yep. Um, and the other issue is that I'm pretty hungry. So... I need to, I need to kind of... Well, How actually, many chickens you got on you right now? Uh, I only have the one chicken because I've been getting boxes and stuff like that. Okay. And like, and like getting wood. I have a lot of, I have like more wood on me right now than I had before. For right now, I need to get, oh, actually I need to focus on this really quick. I need to go get some food. Um, because the malnourishment right now is getting pretty yep. real. You need, I think it, you need like three full, you need like three chicken breasts to be okay during the day. Yeah, and that's um, not that's nowhere near filling you up. Uh, chicken. I don't. By the way, guys, chicken breast is low grade meat, so it's different. You know, once we get pistols and shotguns and stuff, actually, I could probably make a shotgun. If I can make a shotgun, I can one shot any wolf. So we'll yeah, the, the, do you uh, do you crouch down low? Mm -hmm. Yep. And wait for them. You to crouch. Roll up you, on you. you crouch. You aim. You wait until they're right on you, and then yep. boom, level three doesn't matter. Oh, I hear someone growling. Oh, it is a bear right over there. Oh, I got a protein bar. That's actually very, very good. How about you said you only have one chicken or two? Uh, I have one right now. Okay. I actually haven't. Well, and then oh, we were talking about, um, so, and I've, I've told people this like all the time. So like when I talk and when I comment and stuff like that, I would say like it takes roughly 30% of my attention. So I miss everything. And I love you guys for this. I love all the comments about, like, at 1025, Gray missed 32 chickens. Yeah, oh. <laughs> I love those. They're, they're awesome. But And it pisses me off, too. I totally get when it. I first, I when I first see it, I get angry, and then I get, like, I feel like a community. <laughs> it always makes me happy. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's the editing portion. 
talk about like uh, when you're editing your footage and you're going through it and you're like, oh no, they're gonna be talking about this when I play. <laughs> it's good though. Getting, getting comments is good for your uh, video. Um, what do you call it? Analytics. So. Oh no, I love it. Comments it's, are never it's, bad. It's totally fine. Unless they're I bad. <laughs> Unless they tell you go f yourself or something like that. <laughs> well, I I was telling um. I had, it was the weirdest thing. It became like a little meme. It was, uh, it was like self depreciating positive comments. So it would be like, it would be like, Hey gray, love the video. You freaking piece of crap. You, you're garbage. And I was like, Oh, all right. I don't know how to feel about this. Did I mean, did I do well or are they pissed off? I can't tell anymore. I'm finding mad. Maybe they're pissed off at how well you did. I guess. I don't think so. <laughs> but. Uh, and then, so at, after that point, everyone was like, "Hey, Gray, you freaking piece of you piece of shit! I love your stuff. <laughs> you did so great on this video." <laughs> so, but that's fine. I don't mind. It's it's totally good. Yeah, I don't know. I found another protein bar and a lot of matches. I haven't found like a lot of the stuff that I want though. <laughs> like, like I guess I'm happy to get the matches, but we really don't need them. Well, we're gonna need them for the furnace that we're gonna um, make today. Yeah. That's true. We didn't. We don't have enough stuff to make um, fire starters. Uh, we do, but the matches are free. And fire starters take true. wood and and uh, biofuel. Fuel? Biofuel can be used to make uh, you know electricity with the generator. So it's nice not to have to use that. I was gonna be. I was gonna say biofuel can be used for just about everything else. I think it's like in like two or three different recipes. Is it? I don't remember. I don't remember. What is, the, oh, I think that's fiber. I was going to say, what's the fuel brick made out of? That's fiber, fiber yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Man. I used to get it. I got enough of that uh, like two seasons ago where I could make the fuel bricks. But last season, I just wasn't getting enough fiber. I mean, I was getting enough fiber to build with, but just enough. Like I didn't have, an, I didn't have extras for the bricks. The pro I'll, tell you right now, the, I'll tell you right now the problem with the bricks. They need to be half bricks because you never have the thing run completely out. So you're always wasting something. Right? Oh, I, I well, I never, I never use the fuel bricks. Um, I, I don't think I ever got to that point. Yeah, because I just, and now, like I said, you'd be wasting it. Like you're not gonna let the fire burn out because you don't want to use a fire starting item. So you're always putting the bricks in. First of all, you have to wait for the fire to get down to where it's, and you have to like watch it. It's bricks are a pain. They should be half. They should take five, uh, five fiber and fill it up in half. All right, I got a rabbit over here. I'm gonna start killing rabbits. I got enough. Uh, yeah, you've been enough. killing everything. I haven't seen any animals. I got enough feathers. At least now. not the small game. Although to be fair, I haven't been looking out here for them. Go. Here comes the comment cage at 1432. There was a rabbit to your left. Oh Maybe man, that was a that's a live rabbit too. Now, do you ever mess around with the animal uh, husbandry? Yeah, I did. Um, I did a few seasons ago. Because I remember it's not worth it at all from a like if you think about it from an analytical standpoint from a what you're putting in and what you're getting out it's at least it wasn't worth it when i did it but i did it because it was part of the game and, and i found it fun but it it basically you're losing resources on it the one oh, well probably the one thing i found though was i um i did it for chickens and i had so many eggs like i had so much protein you know cheesy eggs for right no mass that's what i used them for Oh my god, I was I was eating on them because they were delicious. No, you can eat them. I mean, you know, but usually I I have to kill animals for uh anyway for biofuel. So because I have to kill I could kill that wolf from the platform. Because I have to kill animals for biofuel, um and I never make a refrigerator because it's too expensive. Um I never I I always have to eat I always have to eat the meat for, you know, protein. Yeah, I hate the refrigerator. I don't I don't find any real use to it. I made it one time to like make it because I wanted to legitimately make it in the game. And that was pretty much it. I don't think, uh, I don't think after that one time I ever made it again. But, like you said, like before, like getting the wellhead and everything like that, like it was so important for the crops, and now not needing that, like I'm so happy. Like the crops are gonna go so, so easy, and I just found another tomato seed. Nice. So now we've got four. Ow, you bastard. Another rabbit down. Um,. And I'm getting a bunch. We should be getting a decent amount of cloth as well. Once I start jacking all these rabbits, that sounded terrible. Once I start shooting all these rabbits with arrows, we should be getting a decent amount of cloth and stuff like that. I don't now. The other thing I'm like, I like, um, I like like the numerics of the game. Yeah. And I don't look into it enough. I'm curious if the rabbit meat or the uh, 
the chicken meat is better for nutrition and protein value? I think they're both low grade. So do they have the exact same amount? If they're both low grade, they do. I, I assume. Okay. I mean, I'm assuming here. I've never actually looked at the numbers. That's the thing too, because like, and I, I actually I remember it well because I think I watched one of your uh, one of your episodes on it, and uh, you had mentioned that combining, and I said this too, when you combine the uh, the fruit with the water bottles, you get yep. more fruit and vegetable than if you eat it separately for some reason. Yep, yep. Maybe it so like helps with digestion. I don't, I don't know. I but I I get I don't know maybe like the the metabolic breakdown of the of the. The, uh, yeah, I mean, if you, the, like when you eat stuff that's that's pre-digested, it does help. Like birds do that, you know, to help with uh, when they feed their young. I don't now, know. while I've while I've been out here culling the rabbit population, have you already killed like three bears or something? I just killed a wolf. Oh, wolf. Okay, that's great. Yeah. So we have a, so you downed a wolf and a bear. Meanwhile, I'm killing all of the things that can't fight back. It's, d d don't act so impressed. I I use the uh, I use the base. Hey, whatever, man. Resources <laughs> are resources. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> I'm not too proud to find them whenever I can get them. In fact, we got I'm a, coming back. We got a liver and a steak. All right, I'm coming back to the base right now. Um, <laughs> you can smell the food from wherever you are. <laughs> I smell steak. Oh, I can. We're going to need another box pretty soon. All right, so three rabbits and a chicken in there for right now. I'm going to eat all these blueberries that I have sitting around. Why don't um, we have an oxygen bar? I don't get that. You said, why don't we have one? Yeah, like, now, I can understand, like, you saying, well, it's not realistic. It's You wouldn't see an oxygen bar. But I would feel my lungs. <laughs> yeah, like, I think, I guess, I mean, I don't know if like, the plan is uh, slightly cooked steak, slightly cooked liver. All right, I'll let you do all that. Yo, can, can you I keep imagine... an item for me? I'm not actually over there. Yeah, I was just checking them just to make sure they weren't burning. Yeah. I, I imagine that, I guess the idea is that maybe there would be like, um, what was it? There, uh, Stranded Deep has just a sound where like you kind of hear yourself starting to yeah. slowly go out of air. Yeah, I, I, I just, I like the idea of a, of a UI. A bar. Um, just, yeah, because like that's giving you the most indication and like you'd be feeling it in real life, so. Well, and we have a health bar. So if we're already going half bar, we might as well go full bar. Yep, exactly. So yeah, I, t I totally get that. Um, I'm gonna put the steak uh, up here in the chest for you, okay? Our box is full, like again. Oh, okay. So more cotton seeds. Just got more cotton seeds, so that's pretty sweet. Like the box, and, and I'm torn because I love hunting in this game, but I love the box getting too. The box getting in this game is like Christmas. Like yeah, I don't the, know what. Yeah, it is. it's addicting. It really is. I could literally just do the boxes all day long, and it's all cool right, too dude, because I there's a steak in that box for you, man. Make sure okay. you get it. Yeah, I'm going to grab it real quick. Now, like I said, I like numbers. Do you know how long it takes for a meat to go rotten? That I do not know. It's not It's not long, though. Uh, it's about, it seems like it's about 15 minutes, uh, real life minutes. And the reason I say that is because I had uh, I had one on me, and it was I should have like had a stopwatch or something going, but I had one on me right when the day started, and by noontime, my steak went bad. Oh, wow. So it doesn't seem like it's very long at all. Well, actually, I shouldn't say that. It was raw meat. So I'm curious if the raw meat goes bad faster as well. We need to talk to, we need to, talk to Cold Games. Oh, this is so good. Games. Oh, yeah. yeah. Doesn't that look nice? Like, I love the look of the steak. Um, I got more cloth over here, more seeds. Why don't you uh, uh, go ahead and start start up the uh, the furnace? Yeah, let's see if we, what, what do we have. Oh, wow. Yeah, we need to get that done right now. Yeah, we only got a couple minutes left on that. On the night time. Yeah, guys, let us know in the comments if you want to see more of this. Um, you know, the thumbs up, the comments. We want to know you guys want to see more of this. We can get, I mean, we can get together and play it because I love this game. <laughs> I really, um, really like this game a lot. The only sad part is I'm going to have to butcher some rabbits. Yeah, go for it. Um, so the raw meat is going to be sitting there for a little bit. I, I can, I can fit it in my stomach. I'm sure you can too. <laughs> I'm such, I like, I'm so bad because like when it gets toward nighttime, I just, I just starve. Like I just do it on purpose because I hate to use the meat. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. When I'm the game first came out, I used to starve on purpose just because when this game first came out, there was no small game, you know? And uh, there was, it was a lot harder because there was so much stuff that wasn't in the game yet. So I would just starve to death. I, I didn't worry about it. <laughs> even, even cold game said it wasn't, it wasn't a, 
um, balanced <laughs> properly at that point. Like you don't you don't worry about balance. You worry about getting the game working. And you balance later. Now you had said as well, uh, and I I messed with this a little bit, but you can pick up and put everything down, right? Yes. So when I make this thing, we can do whatever we want yes. with it. And you can pick up the chest it. with everything in it too, and move it. Oh, I like that so much. So yeah, this is four fifty seventy five. Yeah, so this is gonna use pretty much all of our, all of our mass and stuff like that. There we go. Okay. Why don't you pick Wait, up the chest and move it over to the right a little bit? Make it make it flush with this uh with this wall. Because I'm gonna put another chest down and um I'm gonna need the room. And plus it'll show your viewers. All right. So how do you end? Okay, yeah. So end. End. Not delete. Make sure you're not hitting delete. <laughs> You have to like hold down on it. Yeah, you something? have to hold down a little thing. Old spin around. Okay. There we go. All right. Oh, it's just so. It's just so. It freaks me out because you can't. Oh, really? You can't put it on top of itself. It actually exists in real time. Mm -hmm. Um. So I can't put it on top of itself. Nope. I have to move it over and then move nope. it on. Exactly. It's like That's you odd. can move stuff, but you can't put it in your inventory. It's very realistic. Like if you think about it, if we were here, we'd be moving it around. You know, we wouldn't be putting it in our backpack and you know running so around I, with it. So I have to put it over there before I can pick it up and then put it over here. Okay. So, ooh, you actually there's a oh sorry, uh, go ahead, go ahead. There's I, collision, I moved. Collision effects. I was too. I was going to put something down. So there we go. Okay. Uh, oh, did you did you grab the furnace? Nope, I grabbed that. Okay. I'm gonna leave you to do the furnace. All right. I'm going um, to go you... cook up this rabbit. Alright. I was gonna say, do we want it in any particular oh, area? You know what? Right I guess I'll wait for the furnace to go down before I cook the rabbit. Um Hold on a sec. Let me see if I can don't put the furnace down yet. I wanna see if I can make uh oh we got a wolf over there. What's that? Oh, right behind the base. Yeah. Yeah. Now he, wolves, if wolves, if you attack them and then jump back on this platform we're on, they'll run away. Ooh. Yeah. Will they? Will they ever come back if you get off the platform? I haven't done no. a lot of that. No. That's okay. if you. Uh, well, actually, when 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 episode two comes up, if you care, uh, check out my check out my video because I did it exactly the way you would do it. Nice. Where uh, am I putting this thing? Uh, just hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna make another uh, platform. This will be a, I guess, a two by two or maybe a two by three, and then once that's done, then we'll start making the real base. Oh, I got a box over here right now. Okay, you go grab that box. I am now, if I'm now recording, and uh, I'm gonna place down this thing. Is that on the ground? Yes. I hate it when the legs don't go all the way to the ground. It drives me nuts. <laughs> all right, and then uh, I'm one. Of, I'm one of those guys. My legs are levitating all over the place. Oh, that sunset looks cool. All right. All right. Um, you go ahead and put it like on the the curve here. Or I could um, I could actually. You know what? Hold on. Hold on. Um, okay. What is it? End. Oh, you gotta move one of the boxes. Yeah. End. Okay. It kind of fit in that corner. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sorry about the dark disguise. Oh, right, you can go ahead and put it down there. Where do you want me to put it? Right next uh, to right, it. Or? Yeah, like right here. Okay. We need to get one. Of, we need to get one of those base lights. Awesome. All right, now I've got uh, matches should be in the other box. Okay. Uh, matches, matches. There they are. I know they're. I know they're there. I got them. All okay. Right. Uh, where'd they go? I, I shift clicked it. I shift clicked them, and then I didn't know where they were. Oh God. Yes. All right. Put the rabbits in there for food. Then we will grab all of the animal fat. Basically, you guys a... with the animal fat, you put it in this little thing right here, and it renders it into um, into this stuff, the biofuel. I think that the furnace lasts was it three times longer than the. Uh, than it's the a campfire? lot. It's it's a big difference. Yeah, this thing is this thing lasts way longer than that campfire. Oh wow, that's a lot of fat. That is like fantastic. Remind me to make the next item when we do an item in the base command unit. Um, actually. No, we don't have enough. Okay, remind me next time to record to uh, to make the next item just to make sure I can use the base command unit, okay? Not that it really matters, oh. but kind of curious. Uh, yeah, that'll... Uh, what do you want for the next time? Uh, I don't know. Is it going to base light, maybe? Or just... I guess we don't record at night, so we don't really need a base light, but... Um, the next thing, the next real thing would be the plant grow bed, I would think, right? Okay, yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. I'm looking at it. We have all the materials we need for it. We just need the... Um... We just need the mass and the energy. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then we're going to be good uh, to go. And actually, 
Oh, I was wondering if we were doubling up on energy and mass right now, but no. it's not. <laughs> nope. No like, like, in its speed of regrowth. Hey guys, we're back in the morning with a little bit, a uh, little bit more shenanigans here. I made the cardinal sin. Oh, I couldn't believe I did it too. I felt so bad. Okay. I I drank the dirty water. <laughs> drank the dirty water. <laughs> I was. I don't know why. Like, it wasn't like it was a. It was a compulsion. No, what happened was, I wanted to just put it in the fire, and for some reason, and like. There's no excuse for it. Like, I screwed up when I did it. I right-clicked and drank it. <laughs> I blame cold games. Uh, yeah, let's just blame him. That's <laughs> Now, to be fair, I was immediately rewarded with uh, two more uh, more cotton seeds now. Nice. I just found those in a box. Man, we are finding cotton seeds like freaking crazy. I forget what cotton's used for, but I know we need it for something. Like, I know Cloth. clothes, but I think there's other things, too. Um, there was yeah. something I needed cotton for besides that. I don't remember what it was. Oh, 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 oh uh, bandages. You could. Oh, I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you could turn it into cloth. And that's huge. Because cloth yeah, you, cloth was the one thing I was, like, out of the most of my most recent Let's Play. Yeah, cotton is is the cloth. Yep. Just in, I guess, in its raw form. But either yes. way, yeah, it's you can never have enough cotton. Uh, actually, you can never have enough cloth in this game. It seems like you need cloth for everything. Mm -hmm. Like, you need a cloth for a shotgun, don't you? Mm-hmm. All right. Now, I'm not the best... I don't know everything about guns. Where's the cloth going? <laughs> In a shotgun! You don't need cloth for a pistol. Now, I don't know what a shotgun has that a pistol doesn't. That would need cloth. Uh, it's gotta I be mean, in the stock. Like the part you put your left hand on. Is it, is it, is it because it's trying to make it so much more like, uh, uh, so it doesn't hurt as much? Or because I could care less. You could, I mean, it could well, be the hell Well, if you break your shoulder, breaking your shoulder out here would be a death sentence. Yeah, that would be pretty bad, actually. But, Ooh. you know, I don't know. Hey there, little buddy. I think, um, I think he did it for balance, personally, but. <laughs> which I'm, I'm okay with. I got a creature in the tall grass over here. We got a little rabbit. He's looking at me sideways. Oh, the. Get that guy. How dare he look at you sideways? I totally, I totally missed him. I failed completely. The tall you probably did it on purpose because you felt bad because you're such a nice guy. Yeah, you know, that's the thing. <laughs> like, I love rabbits, but I love surviving too. Yeah. yeah. I don't I don't take joy in this little bunny. Alright, understand that I'm I'm doing this for my own for my own well being. I love and animals cage. until my stomach starts growling. Cage as well, there we go. So he managed, to, he managed to survive one arrow. He did not manage to survive the second arrow. And the cloth, again, is just really good. So. Oh, hell yeah. It's hard, it's hard, to, it's hard to find a, a reason to keep the poor little guy alive. I feel so bad. Yeah, the but, thing is, even even with your, um, the, the animals, well, okay, let me put it this way. I didn't, the animals didn't reproduce last time I played. Now, I don't know if they do now or not, but I don't think they do. So keeping them in your animal house once they're level ten is complete, completely pointless. Oh, oh well, no, unless you want them to lay eggs. The chickens, um, well, I think they stop laying after the tenth level. Don't they lay like one per level or something like that? After I'm level pretty sure my chickens were laying eggs the whole time, but. Oh man, because I slaughtered them after that. Because I had, I, like... I had stacks of eggs. And I'll tell you, I did get high grade meat after that. Yep. Um, yeah, but I mean, kind of like I was like I was telling you before. I don't know if we did if we talked about this on video. I think we did, but um, I never make a refrigerator because the damn thing's so expensive. So I can't. I I have a problem of overabundance of meat. You know, like in in reality, if you kill the buffalo, if you're like a Native American and you kill the buffalo, you know, uh, that's a lot of meat. And like sometimes it would go. Like, oh, did you ever play um, Oregon Trail? Yeah, well, yeah, that was, man, that's old school. That's yeah. a long time ago. Yeah, that's, like, you kill a buffalo, it's like 600 pounds of meat, and you're simply not going to be able to eat it all. It's going to go bad. Um, and I don't make the refrigerator, so, yeah. So I, I didn't need the protein from the eggs. I, I simply just used them as mass, and they actually gave a lot of mass. I actually appreciate that the, uh, that the meme for the Oregon Trail is still going strong. That, like, even in today's age, that game will live on as you died from dysentery? It was the first survival game. And let me tell you, I died in it plenty. A lot of people say, Minecraft was the first survival game. Mm -mm -mm. I was playing the first survival game when I was freaking 10 years old in freaking elementary school. And, uh, what do you think of the difficulty level of the Oregon Trail? I cheated. <laughs> it, was, it was all math numbers, you know, and like, you know. There wasn't much to it, but we didn't know. We were like 
10. You know, what the hell do we know? We were playing we were playing video games on a on a computer at school. I mean, that's all we needed to know. I remember uh yeah, I remember uh all the little uh like it was where the where the pixels were the size of the actual creature. So we're talking like, you know, people are like 8 bit. It was terrible. And it would be uh like a little turtle and you had to input coordinates and he would move around the screen. That was like the very first video game I can think of that I played. Probably and, my first uh, one that I can think of. I remember we we had an Atari Twenty Six Hundred, but it was one of the things that my parents just have that happened to have around, and they didn't. I don't even know if they bought it for me or not. Like it just happened to be around. I don't even think it was for me. I think it was somebody else's. And um, oh yeah, you know, I started playing Atari, and then I I um I saw the Super Mario Brothers on the on the Nintendo Entertainment System, and it blew my mind. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It was yeah, like, my buddy my buddy had a Commodore Sixty Four. Oh, lucky. And uh, I didn't have anything for a while. And the very first thing I did, my parents did end up getting me was the original uh, Nintendo Entertainment System. And yeah, I had Duck Hunt and uh, Super Mario Brothers because I think those were games that came with it or something like that. Or they were the games that were out at the time when my parents bought it or something. And yeah, it was freaking epic, man. I put so much well, time into Duck Hunt. Well, Duck Hunt and Mario Brothers came with the system, probably. It's, I, I, I'm, I find it very fun that I found someone else who who um, calls Mario, Mario, because I used to call Mario, Mario all the time until my wife ridiculed me and made fun of me with all their friends until I learned how to say it, Mario. Well, that's the problem. The accent comes out all the time. Um, so my, my A's get drawn out like that. But where does uh, Mario come from? What, what part of the country? Because I'm guessing New York, New Jersey, Tri-State area. That's where I'm from. Um, yeah, it's just the A. It has nothing to do with yeah. saying, we're saying the name wrong, totally. But it's just phonetically, I want to say that A as Ario. So I call him Mario. Super Mario Brothers. Now it sounds weird because I've gotten used to saying Mario. All right, I'm going to start heading. I think I'm going to start heading back to the base right now. I've got all kinds of seeds and stuff on me. Okay. Are you going to think... cut the video when we get there? Because I'll, I'll head back yeah. if you're going to. Yeah, once okay. I get back, I think that's going to be it because I've, I've got... I've got plenty now. I just wanted to get like a little bit more hunting and a little bit more daytime stuff in. I like to throw that stuff in there. I love this game. It's so sad that it's never really done that well on my channel. Like, it's done okay. It's not like, it's not like death for my channel, but just like when you're recording something like this and you know something else is going to get twice the views, it's like, it kind of hurts, you know? Um, but this game is so much fun. <laughs> well... And there, there's a reason, too. I'll tell you about that in a second. Let me just get back to the base over here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. You know, we're going to start go. We're gonna start looking out for uh, hunters soon. Oh, yeah, because of the BCUs, yeah. It'll be fine. Hey, have you ever played with the uh, rogue hunters? Uh, Not with the... Well, I did, but I never saw any. Okay. All I all I ever saw was the regular guys. This is I think so cool. I'm not, I'm not running out of... My stamina bar is green. What's going on? Did he patch the game or something? It's not yellow. Let's go. I'm See confused. what happens when you have food? I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm gonna have to send a message. I'm gonna have to send a bug report. Oh, I so, should I should send him a, an email and say, hey, my game's bugged. After playing the third day with Gray, my uh my stamina bar started turning green. I don't know what, what's going on with that. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh wow, touche. The problem is he watches my videos, so now it's not gonna be funny. But actually, I could probably get the email out to him before this video goes up, so I probably will. Now, are, we, are you putting, um, like, medicinal plants in with the food area? Yeah, a healing. Healing and food, same box. All right. Just because the, the box is too big for just food. And I feel like healing, food, nutrition, rest restoration, all kind of goes together. Is this the same low-grade rabbit that we had earlier in the day? No, I, I, eat, I eat the ones you had up there. Okay, so there's two more in there so now? So you need to eat those. They've been in there for a while. All right, I'll go ahead and eat them. Might as well stock up on the protein. Gotta make some stairs getting up here too. We're not gonna go crazy with this base. Like I said, this is just gonna be a place for us to work from while we build our real base. Um, but still, stairs would be nice to get up and down. I come back to this place. Cage already has another friggin' wall up. <laughs> Actually, I, I expect I expected this to be fully enclosed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that now that it takes three wood per uh, plank, it's a lot more difficult. Oh, actually, hold on. I just wanted to check something real quick. How much mass 
and uh, energy do we have right now? Oh, we have enough for the plant bed. Do you want to make it to make yeah, sure that it. it works? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, right. oh this right. is going to be great. What this do is we what I've waited for? for. Oh, we didn't do it. We didn't do the... We did, did we do the furnace this episode? We did that last episode, right? No, we did it this one. The furnace? Yeah. Okay, so I guess um, the first episode is going to be talking about the lockbox. <laughs> that was the big one. All right, I need some more wood. I need like six planks. I'm making some, but... Oh, we don't have enough wood, unless you have some. Uh, I have wood on me, yeah. I have to make planks too as well. Okay. Uh, I want to get this done now. This. Let's take this. Okay, so now I'm I, needing... I, I don't think we did. Now I don't remember. No, we couldn't. We couldn't have. Because we... we... No, because we spent, we spent last night at the fire. So no, this was this was today, or this was this. This is the we we spent two nights in the game. The first night was at the fire. The second night was here, but the second night was episode two. Yes. So the first one will be about co-op. Yeah, co. I mean, uh, yeah, episode one's easy. That's gonna episode one's gonna do well. People are gonna want to see what it's all about. I never worry about episode one. Sometimes I even go to the, like the the developers like page and I just grab a screenshot off his page if it looks cool and just throw right, it I in put, there. I put two planks in there just in case you needed them. I did not. Um. Why don't you go ahead and cut down some trees for... Just get a few more pieces of wood. So we can have wood to repair if we need to and, and for the fire. Because now we've used up all our wood for this. <laughs> Alright. But I think, uh, yeah. I want to make me a shotgun. I think, we have a, no. I think we have a couple of uh, shotgun shells too, don't we? Yeah. That's something to do next time. I might make a pistol, I might make a shotgun. I, like I said, if I get a shotgun, we're going to be like kings. Damn hell ass kings! I can't wait. I've never eaten wolf. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's a meat. It meets meat, man. You eat freaking millipedes and stuff, you have to. All right. Uh, oh boy, this is really going to be in the way. Well, there's not much we could do about it, guys. It's going to be, it's going to be a little ugly for a little bit, but we'll work on it. Make sure I can get it in and out. Oh yeah, yeah, that'll work. Oh hey there, box, that randomly decided to turn <laughs> up over here. Man, I love it when that happens. Actually, I probably just passed it and I was blind. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now, did you want to plant stuff now, or do you want to wait until t next video? Um, we'll, we'll wait. We'll do it next okay. time and we'll get, we'll get everything set up and then it'll be looking good. All right. Cliffhanger! So we, got a, we got a plant bed. We got a freaking <laughs> furnace. This is looking fantastic. We're going to do it, man. We're going to survive. We're going to do it, bro. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. All right, guys, we are going to call this one here. We've got the, we've got the plant bed cliffhanger for you. You guys know you're going to want to show up for that. I'm going to have links to uh, Gray's uh, channel in the description, so make sure you go check that out. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time, and until then, take it easy.